What up, what up? Hope everybody doing good. I want to talk a little football with you guys. Before we get started, I need you guys to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Help me grow the channel. Right now, there hasn't been much footage of Joe Burrow's recovery from reconstructing knee surgery. And that's on purpose. You know, Joe got hurt toward the end of the year last year. And he's been working hard trying to prepare to be ready for week one of the 2021 season. Last week, the Cincinnati Bengals Twitter account posted a video of Joe walking to a Paul Brown Stadium with a knee brace on, getting ready to throw with the trainers. That's big. Any time you hear about Joe starting back to throw, I like that. This isn't the first time Burrow has been throwing since his surgery. Joe has been throwing for a few weeks now, and the public didn't know. And they're they doing all this for a reason. You know, I don't know what the reason is, but it's a method to the madness. He started light running in February. Late February, early March, he started throwing. They say he's been throwing since the end of February, beginning of March, nothing strenuous. They slowly working him, working him, back, working him back into action. Bengals coach Zach Taylor said that he likes the way Joe is recovering, but there's still a long road to recovery for Joe. Now, now Zach Taylor, his job probably is on the line. You know, I hadn't really heard that, but this would be his, his third year, I think, over there in Cincinnati. And he has to, he has to turn that turn that team around. When I say turn them around, seven and nine, eight and eight, I'm thinking that's what he needs to be somewhere in that ballpark to keep his job. I don't know if the Cincinnati Bengals are gonna be patient with him like they were with Marvin Lewis. That's yet to be seen. Bengals want to be extremely cautious with Joe. They want to protect him. They did not do that with AJ Green. A lot of times they rush AJ Green back and he never fully recovered from his ankle injuries. Now, AJ Green was a star for the Cincinnati Bengals for many years. And they always wanted to get AJ Green back on the field early than what he should. And by that, they were hurting him more than they was helping him. His, his ankle never got right and he probably wasn't ever the same playing for the Cincinnati Bengals. And now they don't, don't want to make this same mistake with Joe Burrow. So they're going to take him. They're going to they take baby steps with Joe Burrow, which they should. He's, he's the franchise quarterback. You got to do, do all you can to make sure he's absolutely correct when you put him back in the starting lineup. When I mean correct, he's healthy. Also, this NFL draft coming up. I made a video about this last week. They can either draft Jamar Chase or they can get some offensive linemen to help Joe Burrow. Either way, they need, they need to do their best they can to build around Joe. This is this is your future, man. This is your star quarterback. This is what everybody wants. And you and you got to make the best decision. You know, you can't make no sloppy decision with this guy. You know, like like a fragile package. You got to handle with care. And I hope this is what Cincinnati is doing, but this is what they sound like they are doing. They they said they had learned their lesson the hard way from the AJ Green situation. Joe's timetable for return is week one. Now, I hope Joe make it make it back for the season for week one, but don't rush him. If he's not ready, don't put him out there yet. Take your time, man, and get this correct. Also, I want to hear what you guys think about this Joe Burrow situation. Also, hit like and hit subscribe and help me grow the channel, and thank you.